Thanks for the job. Don't pass. This pain. is just a small introduction to the G Funk era. Every day of my life, I take a glimpse in the mirror and I see little G's trying to be like me. Ever since I put it down with the D, check it out. With so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop D O Double G, but I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky gas hits like every single day. May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few ends as I breeze through. Two in the morning and the party still jumping because my mama ain't home. I got some freaks in the living room getting it on and they ain't leaving till six in the morning. So what you wanna do? Huh, I got a pocket full of rubbers and my homeboys do too. So turn off the lights and close the doors. But we don't love them no. So we gon' blow our amps to this G's up, freeze up, for a second now bounce to this Come on, come on, everybody sing it Sippin' on gin and juice, laid back Come on, come on, I can't hear you Come on, Gia, 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 and I'm laid back Check this out, now that I got me some Seagram's G And everybody got their cups, but they ain't chipped in Now these types of things, they happen all the time You gotta get yours, but fool, I gotta get mine See, everything is fine when you're listening to the D.O.G I got the cultivating music that be captivating me Who listen to the words that I speak As I take me a drink to the middle of the street And get to back into this trick named Sadie She used to be my homeboy's lady 80 degrees, when I tell that trick Please raise up off these in your teeth Cause you kiss none of these at ease Bow, wow, wow Pass our mom with the dog pound Feel the breeze And you know I'm just Come on, sing that hook Gia, Gia And I'm laid back I can't hear you Come on, come on Rolling down the street Come on, come on Gia And I'm laid back Check this out. Later on that day, my homie Dr. Dre came to the wood a gang of Tango Ray and a fat ass J. Or some move on the chronic that made me choke. Yeah, this ain't no joke. I had to back up off a bit and sit my cup down. Tango Ray and chronic, yeah, I'm so down now. But it ain't no stopping, cause I'm still popping. And Dre got some freaks from the city of Compton to serve me. Not with a cherry on top. Cause when I get through, I got to shake the dope spot. Don't get upset, girl, that's just how it goes. I don't I love them, no, I'm out to dope yeah. And I'll be Come on, come on, sing that yeah. sing Come on, come on yeah. Lay back yeah. I can't hear you I'm mind. just rolling down the street Smoking in the Sipping on gin and juice Lay back Snoop, thanks a lot for coming on. Easy Snoop. <laughs> Easy Snoop, that's something we The more you shout out, the less I can talk to him. So if you want to hear him talk. But before we do talk, um, all the interviews I've seen you do, they've been talking about your case, which we can't talk about. And the other thing that people have been accusing you of is sexism in a big way. And what I want to do is sort this out once and for all and meet Sharitha, who's Snoop's manager, who, as you'll see, is a woman. So, Sharitha. <laughs> Independent woman, running her own business. Tell us if you think Snoop's sexist. No, he's not sexist at all. And do you ever see him treating women in any kind of disrespectful way at all? No, no, not at all. Obviously, you might be biased, but um, I think we have got... Here's a fair enough opinion. Snoop chose Sharitha as his manager, and I think, hopefully, yeah. that'll put an end to all that sort of stuff. What was that you just put down there? Somebody threw that. Maybe we shouldn't talk about that. It's very nice of him, whoever did that. So, since we last spoke, you, this is your first time in England. Obviously, you've been over here for a few days. What's been happening? Just been chilling, you know what I'm saying? Did a little show last night at the Equinox. You know what I'm saying? Try to do a little something for my fans out here in London. And that's your first live gig without Dre, isn't it? No, I did something without him before. That's my first international live gig without him. And how did it go? I don't know. What y'all hear about it? Yeah! <laughs> I heard nothing about it, to be honest. No, that's not true. You told me you were being treated like Elvis people grabbing at you as you were going through the crowd and stuff. Yeah, they just wanted to touch me, though, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at them for that, because they don't get to see me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so has it been really exciting coming over here? Yeah, it's been real cool. Everybody over here is straight. Sorry? Everybody over here is straight. Uh, not everyone, as you'll find out later on in the show. <laughs> but uh, I, I take your point. Oh, you're in for a big shock. Anyway... <laughs> 
yeah, yeah, all the things that have been happening to you in the last sort of year or so must have been very exciting, but the thing that shocked me is how excited you were at just seeing a poster of Benny Hill in the studio. That's my home. <laughs> it's I your home, Benny Hill. Yeah. <laughs> <It's my> home. <laughs> hey. And what, what are your favourite characters? You like the one that goes like, Ether, Ether. Is that, is that no, one I like the one when he be tapping on the little old man head. <laughs> We're getting more and more insight into your mind now. Also, the other exciting thing is that you played um, in a big celebrity basketball game recently with Magic Johnson. Yeah, I played in a uh, celebrity basketball game in Atlanta, Georgia. I had only 31 points. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and in fact, you scored the most points that game, didn't you? Yeah, something like that. More than Magic Johnson? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. I like a man so modest going, yeah, 31 points. Or something like that. So is it true that you want to go back into basketball? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on how much... Robert De Niro's they offering. You know what I'm saying? Oh, De Niro. Exactly. So, okay. You're talking about going into films. Any films? You ever thought about films? Yeah, I'm thinking about a film, but I mean, right now, my place is in music. A quick reaction to Snoop. Rod, how you doing? Oh, hi again. I'm sorry about that. Hello, how are you, Charlotte? Are you right? I'm, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a great yeah. pleasure to meet you. Well, over the really years, really Emu's been, how shall we say, unkind to various people. What? And obviously, you're sometimes, you sometimes feel responsible. Have you ever had any reprisals on you rather than on Emu? Would you say that in English? Um, you weren't listening. You were yes, I, like that. yes, I was. No, no he, he's Emu and he can do what he likes. Cut, uh, isn't that right, gang? He, he, yeah. Yeah, he can, so there you are. Okay, so that means my puppet can do what he likes as well. <laughs> okay, no, I think Emu, I think Emu's in a very bad mood. I think I think that. You didn't even keep my dog. Have you had any, any, got the right idea? Have you ever had any reprisals from people who've taken out on you rather than Emu? <laughs> Um, actually, no, because I think people know what, uh, what it's he's like. He's aggressive, isn't he? No, he's not, really. He's, he's ever so nice once you get to, to, to know. If you, if you just go... <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking! <laughs> Snoop, have you had any, do you have any sort of thing on TV, TV shows in America, Emus? Yeah, come over here. So, yeah, yes, he's been on yeah. the box over there. Snoop's not going to talk to yeah. him. Sesame Street, big <laughs> No, yeah, he's, 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 he's been on the, on the Carson show, I don't know, about well, we have four or five times. I know, like, yes. Which is not as good as Emu. Oh, no, 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 of course no. not. No. Are there ever times when you like, because you're, you're quite a shy retiring man, are there ever times when you, you wish you had Emu with you? Maybe if you're out shopping and someone's giving you grief. Yeah, I will. <laughs> will you pack it up? Wait a minute, stop it. <laughs> you're right. You ought to have cleaned it before you come out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to leave this for now because... Charlotte Lewis, thank you very much. And Snoop, thank you very much to Snoop. The word. Which of these four famous people said, if I had a facelift, it would ruin all those great lines? Was it Bob Hoskins, Kim Bassinger, Clint Eastwood, or Bridget Bardot? Find out after the break.